Everybody talks about climb performance, but how do we actually get there? Climb performance is governed by a fairly simple equation. You can visualize it like this. Picture T, the thrust of the airplane, opposed to D, the drag of the airplane, with W, the weight of the airplane, on the other leg. This angle, gamma, is the flight path angle. It's not angle of attack. It's the actual angle of the flight path of the airplane relative to the ground. The relation that it forms is sine gamma equals T minus D over W. Now we have thrust decks, which are relations of temperature, pressure, altitude, etc., to thrust, and we have similar relations for drag, known as the drag polar. If we plug this into this equation, we can expand out tables as large as we want to describe the climb performance by varying the weight. Different companies are going to be focused on different parts of this. A winglet manufacturer, for instance, will care about D, because winglets provide a net decrease in drag, and a net decrease here means a net increase here. This is a fairly simple equation, but it's fundamental to what we do in aerospace engineering.